next we are going to discuss about a full subtractor a full subtractor is a combinational circuit which is used to subtract three bits that is if you are considering the block diagram this is the full subtractor there are three input bits and we can subtract these three bits and the corresponding outputs are difference and borrow as in the case of half subtractor okay the three inputs can be designated as x y and z okay we will perform x minus y and then we will subtract z from this okay then the result will be represented as the difference and in any stage of subtraction we are taking a borrow that borrow will be represented as b bit okay that is the full subtractor we have to design a circuit for the full subtractor by using its truth table and we have to draw the logic diagram also okay then the truth table of full subtractor we know that there are two sorry three inputs the three inputs are x y and z there are two outputs difference and borrow okay these inputs and outputs can be either zero or one okay then we are drawing the truth table corresponding to the full subtractor the three inputs are x y and z the two outputs are difference and borrow okay then using the three bit combinations we can perform we can uh, represent two raised to three represent combinations that is eight combinations can be represented in the input side 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 these are the eight input combinations possible for a half subtract so sorry full subtractor okay then we have to subtract these three bits and the corresponding difference and borrows are represented in these columns okay then 0 minus 0 I am subtracting x minus y then I will subtract z from the result in any stage of subtraction I am taking a borrow I have to represent in this column okay first 0 minus 0 minus 0 so I am subtracting 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 is equal to is equal to 0 okay then I am subtracting z from the result then 0 minus z is equal to 0 okay 0 minus z that is 0 minus 0 it is equal to 0 okay that is difference is 0 we didn't take any borrow so borrow is also 0 okay then the next combination consider the next combination x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 that is 0 minus 0 the result will be 0 okay then from this result I have to subtract z that is 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 we cannot perform a subtraction of 1 from 0 we cannot subtract 1 from 0 so we have to take a borrow from the higher positions if we are taking a borrow I have to put a 1 here then after taking borrow this 0 will change to 1 0 okay after taking the borrow 0 will change to 1 0 then we are performing 1 0 minus 1 that is 1 0 minus 2 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 okay the difference is the final difference is 1 okay then the next combination x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 okay then x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 that is we have to take the borrow I am putting a borrow here then 1 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 is equal to 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 okay then this is not the final subtracted result we have to subtract z from this result okay that is z is a 0 here so 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 okay the difference is 1 okay then consider the next bit combination that is x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 then x minus y means 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 how we will perform we have to perform 1 0 minus 1 by taking the borrow okay then borrow is equal to 1 1 0 minus 1 is equal to result is difference is 1 okay then we have to subtract z from this result okay z is 1 then minus 1 is equal to 0 the difference is 0 okay then the next combination is x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 
that is equal to 0. Okay. X minus Y means 1 minus 0. It is equal to 1. There is no borrow. Then subtract Z from this result. That is 0. Then minus 0. It is equal to what is it? It is equal to 1. Okay. Then difference is 1 and the borrow is 0. Okay. Then the next one. The next one is 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. Then I have to subtract a 1 from this result that is minus 1. It is equal to 0 that is difference is 0 and borrow is 0. Then the next combination is 1 minus 1 is equal to the result will be 0. Then again I am subtracting a 0 from this result. Okay. Then the result is again 0. Okay. 0 there is no borrow taken. So B is equal to 0. Then the final combination 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 the result is 0 and borrow is 0. Okay. Then I have to subtract a 1 from this result because Z is equal to 1. Okay. So result minus 1. It is equal to 1 0 minus 1. I have taken a borrow. I am putting a 1 here and 1 0 minus 1 is equal to 1. Okay. Then the difference is also 1. Okay. This is the truth table of a full subtractor. Now we have to write the corresponding expressions for the difference and borrow of this full subtractor. We can write either SOP expression or POS expression or we can either simplify this uh, truth table by using direct K map. I am writing the SOP expression. Then corresponding to the difference what will be the expression I have to check whether there is any one comes under this column. Okay. Then difference D is equal to 1 here. Then the corresponding product term is X bar Y bar Z or here the D is equal to 1. Then corresponding product term is X bar Y Z bar or here D is equal to 1 and the product term is X Y bar Z bar or then here corresponding product term is X Y Z. Okay. This is the SOP expression for the difference. Okay. We can see that this expression is written in canonical form because it is directly written from the truth table. It is in the canonical form. We have to convert it into the standard form or simplified form to draw the logic circuit. Okay. How we will convert it into the simplified form? We can use the KMAP method or we can use the Boolean laws method. Okay. Then I am using the Boolean laws in considering these two terms together. Here X bar is common. So I am taking X bar from these two terms. X bar into Y bar Z or Y Z bar. Okay. Then I am considering these two terms. Then what will be the R X here x is common. Okay. I am taking x out. x into y bar z bar or y z. Okay. Then here this term which is inside the bracket is y bar z or y z bar. It is equivalent expression of a xor gate. That is it is equivalent to y xor z y bar z or y z bar is equal to y x or z. So I can rewrite it x bar into y x or z or here you can see that y bar z bar or y z. This expression corresponds to y x nor z or it is again equivalent to y x or z whole bar. XOR means it is the complement of XOR. So we can write this term as X and this is XOR. This, this term is equivalent to XOR all or sorry complemented version of XOR or XOR. Okay. Either we can write it as Y XOR Z or we can write it as Y XOR Z whole bar. Okay. Then consider this term as W. Okay. That is Y X or Z is equal to W. Then the equation will be in a form 
x bar w or x w bar that is it is again in a form of xor that is we can write it as dub x xor w and w is equal to y xor z substituting for w we will get x xor y xor w sorry x xor y xor w is equal to y xor z substituting for w y xor z then the final expression will be x xor y xor z that is the final expression corresponding to the full subtractor difference is x xor y xor z okay this is the final expression for the difference of a full subtractor okay next we have to derive the expression for the borrow we have to check is there any one comes under this borrow column then b is equal to one here the corresponding product term will be x bar y bar z or x bar y z bar or x bar y z or x y z okay this is the expression canonical sop expression corresponding to the borrow we have to reduce this expression to obtain the uh, simplified form or we have to find the corresponding standard sop expression and from that standard sop expression we have to draw the logic circuit diagram okay then i am applying the boolean laws consider these two terms here x bar is common i am taking that out x bar and y bar z or y z bar or here z is y z is common in these two terms y z is common i am taking it out y z and x bar or x okay then y bar z or y z bar is equal to y x or z this is an expression for x or gate then i am represent it as x bar and y x or z or then the next term y z and x bar or x is equal to 1 okay then it is y z x bar or x is equal to 1 1 and y z is equal to y z okay then this is the corresponding expression for the borrow of a full subtractor okay now by using these expressions we can also draw the corresponding logic diagram or circuit diagram of the full subtractor we know that the expression for this is the expression for borrow and the expression for difference was x x o y x o z isn't it then i am going to draw the circuit diagram corresponding to these two difference and borrow terms for the full subtractor okay then we know that the difference is x x or y x or z here in the borrow we need a term y x or z so i am representing it first y x or z okay there are three inputs x y and z x y and z are our inputs we are representing y x or z first i'm putting an x or here and its output is y x or z then i am adding this term with x bar to get the borrow okay before that i am getting the difference term okay then x x o y x o z that is i have to x or this x along with this y x o z to get the difference here the difference d is equal to x x o y x o z okay this will be the difference then i am trying to get this borrow okay in the borrow y x o z and x o x bar okay then i have to generate x bar that is i have to invert this x by using an inverter and then the output of this inverter is x bar then i have to and y x or z term with this 
x bar okay y x o z is available here okay then i am adding these two terms okay the output will be x bar and output will be x bar and y x or z okay then i have to or y z with this okay that is y z i have to get a term y into z so y and z we have to and these two terms i have obtained the term y z here and then finally i am oring these two terms it will be the borrow okay borrow is equal to x bar and y x or z or here it will be y z y z okay this is the borrow and this is the difference okay this will be the circuit diagram corresponding to the full subtractor